new coach Holy Cross at Holy Cross Guy LeCompte and uh, Coach, uh, what's the transition been like for you? Transition's been unbelievable. Um, I wish I was a brand new coach. <laughs> I feel like I was younger again, but the transition's been phenomenal. The, um, the coaching staff that's, that's in place, uh, I couldn't ask for a better group of guys. Uh, coaches and people, they're phenomenal. Uh, the leadership of the school and the vision that uh, our headmaster Sean has for our school uh, in the mission statement of Holy Cross, just a perfect fit. Well, uh, talk about your team and what, uh, you know, you're going into a situation where you got to learn a whole new set of kids and, and, all, and all of that, but just talk about where you feel like your team is and uh, going into the 2018 season. Well, you know what, I think that we're making strides. The kids have always, they, they've responded every time that there was some type of challenge presented or some things that I've asked, asked of them, uh, they've responded. Um, you know, we're trying to break habits uh, you know that's been created whether they're good or bad it's just different so anytime there's change uh, sometimes there's a, there's a delay you know some resistance to change I haven't seen the resistance to change however it's just I see it as breaking habits uh, yeah. where uh, where do you guys stand as far as like what you're gonna be your strategy as far as uh, you know I know, I know you talk about it. we talked a little bit about off camera about the offense and you may change the offense a little bit and uh, the defense you, you you think you might want to keep pretty much like it is just talk about where you are on that front okay so offensively and, and, the, and the changes that I'm talking about are, are those changes in particular is uh, the way that we practice the drills we call you know not just terminology those things are all different uh, so Adam uh, Giglio is, is running defense he ran defense last year he was a defensive coordinator um, so the defense is going to be changed, just small changes uh, that he and I are working through, but uh, that's going to basically, you know, not, it's going to stay the same. Right. Offensively, of course, I'm going to bring in our offense, and we're going to adapt what we do to the personnel we have. And I'm fortunate because I feel like our personnel uh, is going to allow us to be more multiple. Talk about uh, specific uh, kids, and one kid that I'm interested in is your quarterback, Brian Broussard. He's uh, he's a junior, correct? That's right. Uh, he he was able to get, even though he was in kind of a split playing time with Jade Moran last year, he was able to, to get a lot of playing time, and that's got to help uh, coming into this year and taking over solely as, as the starting quarterback. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, Brian's a real competitor, and uh, he played baseball, so we didn't get Brian until the last – couple of days of spring and uh, he's done a tremendous job of uh, picking up the offense in a, such a short period of time. Uh, we've been able to enter in several of these tournaments and so he's, he's learning the passing game and he's, he's doing it. He's a student in the game. And, and the game, when I did see him play, he looks like he has a good arm and he would he kind of fits the mold of, of a quarterback that you know that you've had in the past and looking for that passing quarterback someone that can handle both running a little bit and and passing a little bit can do a little bit of both right i think he's a dual threat quarterback and uh he's smart uh and i think he's you know he's doing a good job of taking command of the offense now you you lose uh holy cross loses landon bates and uh what do you what do you have back in the backfield that you're looking to bring in? we have um two running backs uh that are phenomenal uh we have um uh, Selman and we have uh, Handy. Uh, both uh, both kids are, are receiving threats, and and their their vision, their attitude. Uh, I love having those guys. It's been a joy to have them. If we want to get them the ball in space, they can do something with it. And then at wide out, you lose Kim Wimberly, uh, just you know, kid that's going to Harvard. Or, uh, uh, so what do you what do you how do you replace and and I know they that there were some young receivers at, at, at for the Tigers last year just talk a little bit about where you stand at receiving receiving core is pretty strong right now we have a little depth uh, we have um, our two outside receivers Tyler Kirkwood and Jalen Johnson uh, both have you know they complementing one another and what they bring to the table as far as size and speed and uh, we have uh, in our slot, we have uh, Alondre Wells, Merlin Seminoles, our tight end. So our two, our two inside receivers. So we, we, we are going to be pretty versatile. Uh, you now in defense, you have uh, an all-state caliber linebacker playing as a junior. And Tyler Grubbs, who is just 
just to go get him. He had 101 or 102 tackles last season, and uh, I'm sure you'll be counting on him a bunch in the middle. He's doing a good job this summer, man. Is he? Uh, he's strong. He's a real tough, strong kid. Uh, very physical, and he he really he moves he moves pretty well uh, for his size. So I'm looking forward to seeing him play full full pads. Talk, talk about the rest of your defense and uh, up front. Uh, you know, Holy Cross. One thing about being in the Catholic League, I know you know, is is having that front line is is key to being able to stop some of these high-powered offenses that you're going to go against. Up front, we are big. We do have size. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited about what we have this year. I think that um, uh, once those guys understand you know, what it is that we're trying to do and uh, they get used to my expectations on you know, various things and how fast we practice the tempo and you know, discipline, you know, character, those things. But I think that uh, they have no idea how good they can be. Overall, on defense, talk about besides Tyler Grubbs, talk a little bit about your top returners and who would who you'll be looking on. We have, uh, as far as who's returning and who's not, uh, you know, we have a lot of young skill. We have a lot of alignment that are returning, but our skill players. Uh, be sophomores and juniors next year, yeah. um, and, and you know the way that they're playing in this our summer 707s, they don't seem like they they're coming with very little experience. They seem very polished right now. You played in the Catholic League, and even uh, as a coach, uh, as an assistant at Salmon, and then as head coach at Mandeville, you like to play the Catholic League teams because it always made your teams tougher. Now you get to do it uh, six times a year. Just just talk about how uh, how tough it is uh, to to compete on an everyday basis in a Catholic League. Well, you know, I'll, I'll tell you at the end of the season, but I, I, I tell you what, I, I think anything, like most people can admit, uh, I know that the kids, uh, it's been my experience anyway, that they want to play in the big games. It's, you, know, you work too hard. Right. You work too hard in the off season, and you can... To, to go into a game that's going to have a flat atmosphere. You want to play in those big games. Uh, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. You taking over for you know a guy I thought was a, you know, a very good coach in Eric Rabada, who's now actually you know kind of ironically now in Mandeville. But you know Coach Rabado had done a really good job of progressing the Tigers. I thought taking a, another step every year. Coach, how are you going to keep? keep it so Holy Cross is, keeps remains going on the upswing. How hard is that going to be? Um, I agree with you. I think uh, Coach Roboto is, is a phenomenal person and I think he did a good job as a coach. Uh, I'm really going to lean on my assistants to help me in that area. Uh, and and they're, they're, really, they're really picking up the slack and putting me in the right direction. So I'm fortunate in that aspect because really honestly, I think that uh, head coaches get too much credit uh, as it is. I think the assistant coaches uh, don't get enough. And so, Have you already uh, tasted at all the big Holy Cross Jesuit rivalry? I mean, obviously, that's that's the game that at, at Holy Cross everybody looks to. Um, how much have you heard about it? And I mean, they're going into, I don't know, it's like the 99th meeting coming up or something along those lines. It's the second longest. Uh, rivalry in the state but just talk about that rivalry and and how that's going to be uh for you to get adjusted to and realize how big that is i can't wait uh, i've heard stories and i you know i know that that week is uh it can be very chaotic or hectic but yeah. i know that it's exciting for all all the fans and alum uh, i just think the atmosphere is going to be phenomenal i can't wait coach guy thanks you for spending time with us thank you for having me